So the news reaching us right now suggests that Anna Governor and eight other protesters who were put in jail just they were denied bail for two weeks. Yes, finally they've been granted bail to the tune of 70,000 Ghana cities with two charities. And people are asking questions because we saw what happened on Friday at Kaukudi. Now people are asking, is this fair? Does this matter? Also, the president of Ghana has gone to grant an interview talking about the protesters who were who were jailed and denied bail under their name. I have the full just for you. Let me say, people are saying that for a, a very long time now, no Ghanaian has interviewed the president of Ghana. But whenever he's out of the country, that's where he grants interviews. We'll talk about it. In case you're in the UK, USA, or Canada, LEM5 is the best way to send money to friends and relatives in Ghana, Nigeria, Rwanda, and other African countries. Yes. So go to the Google Play Store, the Apple App Store, download the LEMFI app, use my promo code HEADLESS, and you get $30 cash back on your first $100 transaction. LEMFI comes with no service charges, no transaction fees, and the best exchange rates. So yes, use LEMFI. Now let's get into the video. I'm the Headless YouTuber, there's Headless Reactions. Alatay, Yanko! So today, Monday, October 7, 2024, the, the protesters who were jailed, no, they've been divided into two, and they were supposed to appear before court at 9 a.m. today in the General Jurisdiction Division and also the Criminal Division of the High Court in Accra. Now, these protesters were divided into two. The, the news that is coming right now suggests that Ama Governor Squad, which is Ama Governor Emmanuel Jan, Emmanuel Cabinaldo, Ziblim, um, Yakubu, Oheneba Prempe, Philip Ousu Kobena, Akisi, Akisibik, e, Desmond, Von Kofi, and also Sadiq Yakubu. These people have been granted bail to the tune of 70,000 Ghana cities with two charities. And people are asking, is this fair? What did they do? They were just standing somewhere, peacefully protesting. And now people are bringing out videos. Do you know what happened on Friday? During the uh, um, Stop Galam saying now protests that they, they did over the weekend, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. On Friday, when the protesters, uh, the protesters when they got to Kaukudi Junction, when they got there, the police had blocked the road so that the protesters would come and pass and go before they would release their traffic. But then some Islamic youth, some Muslim youth that they went to pray, the uh, chief imam's convoy, that they said the chief imam is also in the convoy, and, and there were about 100 motorbikes leading them. They go to the bike and they say, hey, Ghana police, allow us, let us pass. The chief imam is here. The Ghana police people were not allowing them. These people broke through the bike, threw the bike away. Some of the policemen cut up some slaps. And these people passed through with their motors and they left. Nobody was arrested. Watch this video. <laughs>
Nobody was arrested. But it is peaceful protesters that they are arresting. It is peaceful protesters that right now they are giving seventy thousand Ghana City bail with two sureties. Is this fair? Already the president of Ghana was in say Germany or say France, some country B, and he was interviewed. They asked him what's going on. He said he cried and he just said he has excluded him. So he said this is the judicial system that is working. Now the people need to their own behavior. That caused them to be arrested, he has nothing to do with it. Watch this video. Right. Are you concerned about protest movements? We have, we've seen a lot of protests. Uh, some activists were uh, arrested, put in jail. The opposition is saying you're trying uh, to stifle dissent. I'm not responsible for jailing people in Ghana. Hmm. The courts in Ghana are independent institutions, and they have been all through this period of the Fourth Republic. Um, People misconduct themselves and they're brought before court. It's for the court to deal with them. That's not a matter. It has nothing to do about politics. It has nothing to do with the executive. And their behavior is what lands them in, in problem with the police and with the courts. It's not the, 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 the protest. How can the president, who himself, his political career was aided by leading protests, have problems with protests? I don't have problems with protests. And nothing is done in Ghana to prevent people from airing their views on anything. So right now, it looks like there's selective consequences for people. Peaceful protesters who are just standing there. Selective consequences who? Some people were arrested. What about this, uh, the motor boys? Chief Imam convoy boys, no. Nobody was arrested. Now and then their, their behavior didn't... <laughs> Ghana, our motherland. Ghana, our motherland. Now, some people may not understand how bail works. You know, sometimes when they say they've been granted bail 70,000 Ghana cities, it doesn't mean they should come and pay 70,000 before they release them. No. That's why I went to see my lawyer. His name is Yeda Brown, a.k.a. The Law GH, on a social media. And he's explaining things, telling us that no. If somebody has been granted bail of 70,000, that means the person can go. But he needs somebody to come and guarantee that anytime they need the person to come back to court, the person will come. And if the person doesn't come, then I'm promising that I will pay 70,000 Ghana cities. That is what it means. Let my lawyer talk. You want to bill. You do not pay to be granted a bill. Bill is free and just as I explained in the last video, there is no law in Ghana that mandates or requires you to pay before you get billed. Any policeman that takes money from you is breaching the law and do not be scared to tell him in the face. Now there was this comment where he said this is just book knowledge but in reality we even hear in the news that people get billed with this huge amount of money plus share it is to explain the whole concept of a police bill to you for you to understand first you've been arrested mind you once you are arrested investigations would be done you would also be sent to court now before the investigation and you being processed to court would be done who would run your daily affairs if you are still sleeping at the police station who is going to take care of the family who is going to continue your business and that is where the bill comes in. In fact, it is your right that once you are accused of a crime, from the time you are being accused, so the court has given its final verdict, you are innocent. So once you are innocent, why are they still keeping you in custody? Why are you still sleeping in the police station? Exactly. Now the bill comes in this way. You tell the police that you would want to go and run your daily affairs. You would want to go and continue your regular business. But you promise that any time they demand your presence in court, you would be available. You promise that any time they want you in court, you would attend the court section. And that is it. Very simple. But this alone does not assure or guarantees the fact that you would come back or the fact that you would attend the court meeting. What if you do not come? So now the police would need a guarantor, someone to guarantee the fact that yes, even if you do not want to come, the person would ensure that you'd be present. And that is where the surety comes in. This third party now comes to promise the police that, oh, even if he refuses to come, I would ensure that he comes. And if our attempts fails, he does not appear, then I promise to pay this amount of money. I promise to pay 50,000 Ghana cities. This money is only paid after the terms of the agreements have been breached. After you are not able to fulfill your part of the promise, you do not pay any amount of money to get your friend or your loved one released. Oh, clap for my lawyer, clap for my lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> so that is what it means. So right now, 
mean, it means these people will be released. But then they have to bring guarantors, sureties, to come and sign that, okay, anytime the court needs Amma governor or any of these people to come back to court for their hearing, they will come. I will make sure they come. And if they don't come, in case they run away or they get missing or whatever, then I promise that I will pay the court 70,000 Ghana cities. That's what it means. But is this fair? Especially looking at what the boys did at Kaukuli and nobody was arrested. Meanwhile, these protesters were standing there and they came to logo all of them. <laughs> hey, Ghana. And actually, share your views in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this. Watch other videos on this channel. Tell somebody about Headless. Yeah, then. Yeah, boom.